Mike Vandermoss. He's Pete Doherty. We're talking about Packers training camp. Pete, in the early days of camp, as we look at potential uh, surprises, I'd have to throw out Devon House as a guy who's really, uh, you know, surprised me. He's risen up at cornerback. He looks like he's, uh, you know, maybe going to be competing for, you know, a starting job. He's shown a lot of aggression, cover skills. I like what I've seen so far out of him. What do you think? Um, yeah, I would say the biggest, uh, maybe the biggest surprise, at least for me, would might be uh, tight end DJ Williams. He um, he's played uh, he's he's played really. He's made a lot of plays over the middle, a lot of catches. You know, going down the seam for anywhere from 15 to 25 yards, which are those are those are big plays. Uh, if he keeps this up, I think he's going to get on the field a pretty good amount this year and maybe catch 30, 40 passes, maybe even a little more than that, um, and give them an alternative to Finley if that ever blows up down the road. So I guess I would I would lean towards D.J. Williams as the guy who's uh, kind of from nowhere jumped out the most to me. On the other side of the coin, biggest disappointments, probably in my mind, uh, Vic Soto really hasn't shown much. Uh, he's, you know, not made an impact in any of the pass rushing drills. Uh, last year, of course, he was a phenom, uh, came out of nowhere, but I just haven't seen much out of him. Your thoughts on Yeah, he hasn't uh, taken off from where he was last year now. If you think back, last year, the first three weeks of camp, he was really quiet. He didn't do anything. And uh, it was a late push, the last two preseason games, and that week of practice in between, and maybe a little bit of the practice the week before the third preseason game is when he really came on and, and showed his pass rushing. So, you know, maybe he's just a guy who doesn't play well until later in the camp. The guy who jumped out at me um, is, uh, I, I guess I would say, Sam Shields. Now, this would come with a caveat. Uh, because I, there's plenty of time for him to still win that starting job at uh, at cornerback, and uh, I st wouldn't be still wouldn't be surprised at all if he if he did win it. But he's he's had more struggles than you would have expected the first uh, week of camp, um, and with how well he played as a rookie, uh, you know he and, and then he regressed a little bit last year. It's a, it's a little bit of a surprise that he didn't come in you know on top of his game this year. For Pete, I'm Mike. We're out.